Hello everyone, Skids here and welcome to one of the most requested videos of the past few months and that is a video about my mod list. Now all the mods I will be talking about are listed in the description below with links to them and that took a lot of time to make so I hope you will appreciate it. First thing you need to know is that uh, since I got a new computer in summer and I have two installations of Fallout New Vegas and basically two mod lists. Now the first one from the old computer is uh, the one you can see in most of my videos and the new one from summer is basically a lightweight version of it focused mainly on visual and gameplay changes. So let me just start off with Heavyweight, the old mod list. Now I won't be talking about each mod I have or talk about them in detail because I already reviewed maybe 90% of these mods and therefore I'm just gonna look, take a look at a few specialties here. Now in the description below you can find the text file exported straight from Nexus Mod Manager that uh, lists my load order and you can basically use that to install all the mods. As most of you know this installation of New Vegas is pretty old I think I've had it for around three or four years uh, and uh, I've only been adding a few things on top of it and installing a few, but uh, generally it's the core stayed the same. Now since I don't really play New Vegas anymore, uh, my mod list is mainly focused on visual uh, and gameplay changes even in this old computer and I don't really use many quest mods or weapon mods. Also just to let you know my game is not 100% lag free. It stutters sometimes as well, especially when I'm moving from area to area. But thanks to the magic of editing, you can't really see that. When it comes to crashes, personally, I rarely receive crashes. And that is because, like I said, I don't use many quest mods or any mods that could break the game. And I'm very careful about installing anything new in here, because uh, once this installation breaks, I don't think I'm gonna be able to replicate it. And final thing, before we get to the load order, uh, I'm using Nexus Mod Manager. If you're just starting to mod your game, I wouldn't really recommend it, it is a bit old, it is also not that uh, noob friendly. I personally use it because I like it and I've been using it for so many years that I don't really feel like uh, learning a new modding tool. But uh, you can try out Vortex from the Nexus creators or you can try out Mod Organizer too. So anyway, what about my load order? Now from what I remember I didn't really care that much about load order when I installed most of these mods. But uh, one tip I can give you is that I like to start from the mods that are biggest and oldest and then uh, override them with the uh, new ones. I'm not sure if that's a good thing to do uh, but that's just how I do it. So for example let's just take a look at visual parts. I have NMC's texture pack that's probably the biggest texture mod out there along with Evie's big texture pack. So first of all I install the NMC's then I install Evie's texture pack and after that I go with the smaller texture mods that I like and that I want to use to replace some of the NMC's textures. So once I have uh, NMC installed I go with the improved robots, super mutants, cyborgs and dead cloud textures from Tau 34 us and after that I put uh, other mods on top of that like enhanced blood textures, floating textures and so on. So basically like I said start from the biggest and oldest mods and move on to the smaller ones. When it comes to animation I do recommend only using one animation mod, go either for Hitman, Asurach or stay with Vanilla. Uh, I personally use Asurach's animations but of course they're not bug free and they're not compatible with every weapon but since I don't really play New Vegas for fun I don't really mind that. Armor mods, I don't really use many of those. Same goes for weapon and quest mods like I mentioned before. Outside of visual mods, what is important is the gameplay mods along with the user interface and utility mods. For years I've been using MTUI uh, along with the Fallout 4 HUD replacer. Nowadays I'm using Vanilla UI+. Plus. I like its visual a bit better. When it comes to other user interface mods, you know, I'm just using the classic one hat mod configuration menu user interface organizer. Now the gameplay effects and changes. Now this is a category that uh, is kind of hardest to install and there are usually biggest problems with it. I used to use Project Nevada back in the day, but uh, nowadays I'm using Solid Project. Solid Project unfortunately is no longer available and I'm going to be talking about its replacements in the next part where I talk about my new mod list. Honestly, Solid Project is really one of few gameplay mods I need, it has almost everything. Uh, I installed a few Xylandro mods on top of that, even though I'm not sure if they are in this new installation as well, but I would definitely recommend them. When it comes to other things like Ragdolls, Real Recoil, I just installed them as I want to. I never had any problems even when uh, I had to overwrite something. Maybe I'm just lucky, or maybe I didn't notice the, some bugs that are in my game. Now of course, the best thing to do is either go with my load order that is in the post in the description or I would recommend using Gamer Poets or Goofers, I don't know how to pronounce your name, I'm sorry, uh, tutorials on how to install mods. Gopher has some uh, 
older video tutorials, but they're still good. While Gamer Poets has some great new tutorials for Mod Organizer Vortex. Generally, I think uh, Gamer Poets is a great channel and you should definitely go subscribe to it. I also have a tutorial mod on how to install uh, mods for New Vegas, but that one is a bit outdated. And I also use Nexus Mod Manager there, so I don't know. If you can, you can check it out, but like I said, Gamer Poets has better tutorials than I do. I'm sure I didn't answer all questions in uh, this uh, section, so if you have any things you want to ask, just uh, leave your questions in the comments. I will try to answer as many of them as I can. Now let's move to the second part, which is my new load order for my new PC. Now, like I mentioned, this one is lightweight. There are mainly visual and a few gameplay mods here. Honestly, I actually prefer it. My game looks good. I don't have any bugs in it and gameplay mods I have are all I basically need. So once again, text for the load order is in the description, but uh, Honestly, it is pretty short. I mainly use visual mods from my other mod list. And since Solid Project is no longer available on Nexus, I decided to go for a few alternatives. There is this monitor called IV Lab Sys that has his Just Something series that basically replaces most of the important stuff from Solid Project. You have a hit indicator, a sprint mod, a hit marker, and a lot of other stuff. And uh, so far, it works for me. Of course, it's not as complex as Solid Project, but it's still pretty good. Outside of that, once again, a few uh, utility mods, some user interface uh, things, and some Xylandro mods, along with a lot of visual mods. So that's about it. Like I said, the old mod list is the heavyweight version that I've been keeping for a few years, and this new one is just a lightweight addition. For those people that have trouble following the load order of my old uh, Fallout New Vegas installation or just in general don't want to install that many mods, I would consider the lightweight edition of my Fallout New Vegas the core of my modding. Really, if you don't want to install too many mods or you just want to start out, I would recommend installing just the mods from the second mod list I talked about and don't worry too much about the old one. That one is for more experienced modders and this lightweight edition is very easy to install mainly visual mods you shouldn't have any conflicts and personally like I said I think this is the basic stuff I would have installed if I decided to reinstall New Vegas or if I decided to you know just make another new installation now obviously I am not the best mother out there and the mods I have in my load order might be incompatible so don't just go and download everything you see there and install it make sure you read the description of those mods take a look at their incompatibilities and don't break your game my game works for now but like I said I don't really use it for playing I mainly use it to record videos therefore it doesn't really have any chances to break and the magic of editing can make it look a lot smoother than it is honestly if I had the time and the energy to reinstall it I would. Anyway, like I said, mods are linked in the description below. There is a text file for both load orders there. Make sure you check out tutorials by Gopher or Gamer Poets. And also for most requested questions about my mods, for EMB I use Rudy EMB. For my gameplay changes I mainly use Solid Project. The mod that adds floating numbers about enemies that is called Blind. And I use Vanilla UI Plus and I used to use Fallout 4 HUD Replacer and MTUI for my HUD. Those are the four most requested questions. You don't want to know how many times I had to answer that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video about my mod list. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. Tell me what you think about it in the comments. Subscribe for more Fallout and other games content. And I will see you next time.